start this close. Hello, this is my face. Uh, oh, that's the wrong way. Let's get wider. Ooh, maybe you can do a thing a bit lower. Let's work this out. Man, I wasn't thinking about this. I should have put it a bit lower. Hello, welcome to the corner of my room. Um, so I'm thinking on Sundays, like whenever I've put one together, I'm gonna do kind of challenging videos, vlogs, something, show you my face in case you wanna see it. Um, and I'm kind of doing ch two, two challenges this week. So I'm gonna try to do makeup every day. Um, and also I'm going to try to not eat meat. So I'm a South African, I'm a carnivore. Well, obviously I'm not actually a carnivore. Uh, I like meat, um, but you know, a lot of health stuff and everything saying we should, my hair's annoying. <laughs> they aren't saying that, uh, saying that we should eat less meat for the environment and all that. So that's what I'm going to try to do this week. Um, and I've kind of going to combine this with a corn taste test. So I kind of already knew of corn, like I'd had corn chicken, um, of which I will try it again, where I'm cooking it myself. So I got myself some corn sausages. Um, so this is going to be my dinner tonight. And um, for Wednesday morning lunch because I've got like we only come back past lunch um got a full day and also what I didn't know they don't just do the like fake meats they also do like meals so I picked up an oriental stir fry with egg fried rice guess it's not vegan um I wasn't planning on doing that anyway I've got an egg in the fridge um a, a, a boiled egg otherwise I can just wait um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go pop this in I can't be bothered to do a lunch right now I could have done the sausages but I want it for dinner so I'm gonna pop this in tell you have a taste a first taste um, so I'll be back in how many minutes do I put this in back in don't tell me it's gonna tell me to fry this where does it say how to cook this thing Nope, microwave, five minutes. I'll be back in about six minutes, because plating. Hoop. Okay, I'm back. Got a tray to eat off. Not gonna make that much of a mess, because I'm in a bean chair, a bean bag chair, a bean chair. Yes, a chair of bean. Um, here it is. Let me try to show you. Oh, fudge. Okay, so it's separated. Very liquidy and oozy. Now I did cons like wonder why an oriental stir fry needed corn because just tofu's a thing and I've done that before but uh, how do I get this high enough? If only you were lower now. I'm trying to angle you down. Yeah. Mm, can I go wider? That's the opposite of wider. Can I put you further away? So you can get my face and not dip myself in here. Okay, there you go. Got both of you. So I'm going to try to tip this in. Well, let's taste it first. Okay, so the sauce. Mediocre. Slightly sweet. Kind of tastes like one of those, the broths you get in a, like a packet noodle. Like an Asian packet noodle, which is so much better than the British ones. And then let's taste test one of the corn chicken question mark. It doesn't actually say what it's supposed to be. Pieces? No texture. I mean, okay. So the chicken has like muscles. So it has layers of meat that kind of break apart. So it's tried to do that way too squishy. Uh, I mean, let's just taste it all in bits. Peas. Tastes like peas rice mediocre rice so day one meal one try one it's not bad but I don't think I would have bought this if it was <laughs> with chicken either so it's just a subpar uh, pre-made meal with a uh, too soft way too soft the chicken so 
this chicken that they've used, they've tried to make chicken, I think, failure. Not chickeny, but I'd rather have tofu. Woohoo! Okay, back in the corner for another meal with the sausages. So these are supposed to be Cumberland sausages. Yes, I'm just flopping this about. It does not flop. It's incredibly rigid. I'm going to put in a little clip me making it. Okay, so meal number two. I'm having hot dogs. I have yet to add the sausage, which should go in over there. In. Got some cold story made. It's an incredibly fabulous purple colour due to the red cabbage and um, some pesto that I got for free from the Vegetarian and Vegan Society on brioche, you know. I'm trying to make it work. we just got the rigid sausages going away. So, I've already told you what's in this. I added a bit of ketchup on top for hot dogginess, but let's try a plain sausage. Is this palatable? Does it taste like pork? Let's see. It's like a Cumberland, in that I don't like Cumberlands that much. It tastes like a sausage that's made of like flour. You know, those kind of sausages that are mostly not pork, except it's kind of got a bit of the rigidity, the kind of bitiness of some sort of a meat product, perhaps. Um, it does remind me of mushroom. It's supposed to be flavoured with... Um, black pepper and rosemary. It's not bad for a, a mushroom sausage. It's not meat. <laughs> but I mean I wouldn't buy these again unless they're reduced, in which case I'll, I'll buy pretty much anything. <laughs> so let's try it as a proper dish. Let's try it, see if that improves the quality. Oh. Oh, what else that? Next bite. Pesto was surprisingly good. Oh. Hmm. Not bad. You know, I would put this at about the same quality as like a Frankenfurter, kind of sausage that you don't care to taste. Um, the texture was fine. Got ketchup on my finger. Day one, doing fine. We'll see. Day two. Okay, hey guys. Day number two, meal number three. We are now, whoop, where is it? On to fish. So I just came, I, for lunch, I had two sausages from last uh, night. The Cumberlands, they were pretty great. Um, by great, I mean uh, it's a sausage. It's a, a flavor. It, it, yeah, it, it was flavorful. Um, so I was, I'm really excited to try this because I've tried the chicken before. Um, but fish, fish. Let's see how they do fish with how they did the texture of the chicken. We'll see. We'll see what this will look like. On the pictures, it kind of looks more like the folded tomato dishes that you get at a sushi place, so two crispy fillets got two crispy fillets, an incredibly unhealthy meal, but I just came back from society I'm lazy don't do this usually, but let's see ah huh. ah huh. ha huh. ha huh. First thing to say, incredibly sweet. Like not, not ridiculously sweet, I don't. It's just weirdly sweet. It's probably from batter. Now, I think the one thing I've learned, the chicken, wrong, wrong, wrong softness. I wouldn't really go for it. The sausage and this, it's fine. It's fine as a substitute, but with these two, you can't call it fish. You can't call it pork. It does not taste like fish. Kind of got a texture somewhat like it. But 
but fish? No. <laughs> I, I would get it if it's reduced, as always, but not fish. Okay, so day number three, it's Wednesday, and trial number five, I think. Um, I've got two here. Uh, I've got a chicken ham and a ham from corn, and uh, the video turned off, but I hadn't eaten it yet, so good on. Um, I got this because I got like a reduced cheese pizza, and I was thinking just chuck in some of these delicatessens on it. Um, finding out what it's like. So, accident. I was so close to eating it, but I didn't. Um, it's kind of perfectly circular originally. Um, kind of softer and then really gritty. So I'm gonna try the outside and the inside separately. So outside. Weirdly sweet again. Very sweet, very sweet. Weirdly very sweet. Kind of chickeny. More texture, yum. Just weirdly sweet. I put it on my pizza good enough, but it's it's chicken. It's like if you described what chicken would taste like, and then you just added a bit of quite a bit of sugar to it. Onto the ham. There's no reason for ham to be sweet. So let's see. <laughs> saltier but also sweet this is not really like ham it is a texture ah. closer to actual chicken ham so I'll come back when I have my pizza and see what it's like then okay so day four meal I can't count and it's the second ready meal and the last so it's a corn cottage pie so essentially in terms of cornness it's a uh, mince fig mince and i've got a, bo a bag of frozen mince corn mince um that i'm going to be using tomorrow for cooking so we've got this wait cottage pie as i did I show close enough? A cottage pie. It's basically, I was about to say shepherd's pie. Not 100% on the difference. It's just meat, potato, mash. So, looks terrible. Let me see. It's a bit steamy. I might open, can't open it up. Just pull in it and, no you can't. Yeah. It's coming off the edge. That's annoying. Not very good design. I can't open it. <laughs> this happened with the last one too. I hit myself with my fork. But okay, I had a spoonful. Potatoes taste like potato. No reason to change that. Yeah, okay. So let's try to Get some mince. Apparently it's not very deep. Oh, missed. Okay, mince. Microwave for four minutes, no, four and a half minutes. Ah, oh, peas. Oh, it was too hot. I couldn't really taste, get the texture. So let's get a bit of mince by itself. Because from what I experienced, didn't have much of a texture. Mince is quite chewy. This is soft, essentially mush. It's got a kind of slightly metally taste. Terrible mints. Not all like mints. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy it. Not mints. Hey guys, so it's day five. Not ten, five. This is going to be my last day of doing this challenge because. I'm done with the corn, um, but it's kind of the finale, got a spoon, hint, um, I've, the food that's most likely to succeed, 
home cooking, you know, just a base ingredient that you add all of the other good ingredients to and it should taste good. It's always tasted good when I made it. What is it? I've made bavoti. So it's a South African dish that's a minced chutney, the seasonings, rice. Um, oh, and raisins inside. So no reason for it to be bad. And even if it's not as good as mince, which probably isn't going to be, it shouldn't really matter. It should just be like, okay bavoti. Which is not bad for if you're like, not killing animals or whatever your intention is for doing it. So this, I mean not necessarily the most appetising, it usually looks a bit better, but it's got an egg. Oh that's wiggly, you hear it. I hope you could hear that, it's quite a weird noise. But this should work, no reason for it to not. I'm gonna get a spoonful, tell you how it goes. It's got chutney so it's basically gonna mask the taste, it's kind of down to texture. So, mm -hmm. okay, not bad. I used a red onion chutney, it's delicious, the chutney. That's basically what you can taste. Um, it's very squishy. It's not at all uh, mince textured. It's quite rubbery. I find mince compared to other meats. Um, but you know, it tastes good. This is a good dish. <laughs> Complimenting myself. But I think as a core ingredient, it's fine. You know, if you're not going to directly compare it to what it is, it's it's good. It tastes good. It's not restaurant quality, but I'm not no restaurant. <laughs> and I think that's kind of my takeaway from this week. I will get corn if it's on sale, the same as I'll get meat if it's on sale. I like to try new things out and just like, it's made of fungus. With mycoproteins, it's just a fun time. The future. <laughs> so, if you're not having meat, it's good alternatives. I think I've shown you that there's a range of quality. The sausages, I would say, probably the best. Um, oh, the fish is the worst. Why is it so sweet? The ham's pretty bad. I did try to do something with them, but no. <laughs> like, I couldn't even get it so far as to record it. But it's just, try it out. And if it's just, cover it up. If it, if if you're just gonna expect it to be as good as a steak or as a normal thing, it's probably not going to, but if it's incorporated it'll be fine. So I think that's all I have to say. Thank you for coming in.